Hey guys, this is Valentina Palladino for Ars Technica, and today I'm here with one of HP's newest convertibles. This is the HP Spectre X360 15-inch convertible. So HP's kind of building on the success of the 13-inch model of this same laptop, only they just kind of expanded this so you could have a 15.6-inch display. This is also a 4K display. I feel like we're all kind of used to 13 and fewer inches in our convertibles, but now you have this kind of big, regular size laptop as a convertible that you can move around and go into tablet mode and all that kind of stuff. And it also comes with an active pen as well. So I spent a little bit of time with this as my primary computer, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the good things and the bad things about having a 15 inch convertible. So one of the good things about the 15 inch Spectre X360 is its design and we're just going to talk about the kind of aesthetics of it because I guess HP really just took the best things about the 13 inch model and tried to incorporate some of the flair of the HP Spectre 13 which is just a laptop, it's just a fancy laptop, it's not a convertible, into this device. So you have this kind of aluminum chassis and bronze accents even on the little edge here of the trackpad, on the hinges on the outside with its uh, logo at the top. It's a very nice looking machine. HP did make some improvements on the design just because the size of it is larger. So they were able to shrink the bezels on the sides of the display to about just below five millimeters. That makes those bezels smaller than even the ones on the Dell XPS 13. This is really nice, you get a lot of screen space. You have the Windows Hello ready camera and it's not super huge bezel at the bottom it's just kind of normal and instead of like x360 13 inch where the speaker grills were on the top here because they expanded the size of it for the 15 inch you have the Bang & Olufsen speaker grills on the side so it's slightly different but still maintains that really professional sleek fancy look Another good thing about the 15 inch X360 is that it has a good number of connectivity options. So if we flip this around so we can put it into tent mode and kind of see. We have here a regular USB port, a headphone jack and the power button on the side. And then on the other side, you have a regular HDMI port and then two USB type C ports, one of which is Thunderbolt 3 capable. So in the box, when you open the 15 inch X360, you're gonna get a couple of different adapters too. So you're gonna get a USB type C to ethernet, VGA and regular USB. So you get a lot of options straight out of the box and hopefully you'd be able to use those options that HP gives you to kind of just set up your workstation how you would normally. So I really enjoyed that and I also like the inclusion of Thunderbolt 3. I think that's kind of necessary at this point. So with the size of a regular workstation in the 15 inch, you also get a pretty good number of connectivity options too. And another good thing about the 15 inch model is that it has really good performance. This has the Core i7 KB Lake processor inside of it and it performs generally the same as any of the other machines that we've tested that have a similar processor. And it was super easy to work with and I really like having a 15 inch model and that can really keep up with me and whatever I wanted to do. So that was really nice to see. So let's move on to the not so great things about the X360 15 inch. And now I love the design of this as aesthetically. Mostly what I noticed at first is the weight. So the weight of this thing is about four and a half pounds. So in comparison to a lot of other 13 inch, 12 inch, even 11 inch small, super small like convertibles, this is going to feel incredibly different when you pick it up. And that was the first thing I noticed out of the box was when I was trying to pick it up for the first time, move it around, I had to treat it differently than that because of the weight. Not even the size as much, but because of the weight. Because I kind of lifted up expecting something lighter when I got a four and a half pound device. So I'm not going to lie, a couple times, almost dropped it. <laughs> so this is kind of, doesn't really go against the lighter is better uh, trend, but you know, to make it bigger and to include, you know, the 4K display, to include the batteries, you have to sacrifice some weight with that. So in general, I think the weight of it in combined with the size will take some getting used to if you are used to smaller convertibles. Another not so great thing is that the pen here requires a AAA battery to work. So that's not super different from other pens that you get in convertibles, but I, I did like when I reviewed the Samsung Chromebook Pro that it had a stylus that did not require a battery, and that was really nice. You never really have to worry about it. But with this one, it does take 
a AAA battery to work. You just slide it in here and it is included. But otherwise, the pen is really nice. Uh, there was a little bit more latency than I'm used to. It's not terrible and it is Windows ink uh, ready. So you'll be able to take little sticky notes, sketch as much as you want and have access to Windows ink, but also just the pen ready apps that are in the Windows app store. So another not so great thing about the X360 15 inch is its battery life, but that's just a light warning. So HP expects this to get about 13 hours of battery life on a single charge. However, on our battery tests, this clocked in at around 10 and a half, 11 hours. So it's not a terrible battery life by any means. And it's not as good as what HP expected. That was on our default test on our um, graphics intensive test. This lasted only about four and a half hours. So if you're doing anything like playing a game or watching YouTube, watching Netflix or whatever, you're going to want to stay near a power source if you plan on doing that one task for a long time. But in general, I got a regular day's worth of work out of this, but by the end of it, you will probably need to charge it. So overall, I really did enjoy my time with HP's 15 inch model of the X360. And I would even put aside my hesitation of larger convertibles and use this regularly. It worked really well. It has great performance. I love the 4K display. The typing experience is really great. And overall, it's just a, it's a bigger version of a good convertible that HP had in the 13 inch model of the X360. But I think that there will always be people who prefer smaller convertibles because the kind of design of a convertible lends itself to a smaller, lighter device. So if you're kind of on the go all the time and you need to bring this thing with you everywhere, you might not enjoy it as much as the 13 inch X360 because this does weigh significantly more than that. However, if you can kind of live with carrying around a four and a half pound device because it has great performance and the screen that you might want and the power, this is a really good device to go with.